Right now at 5.30, remembering 9-11 20 years later, taking a live look right now at the reflecting pools, the World Trade Center site where the two towers once stood. Crowds are gathering there ahead of the ceremony tomorrow, and I had a chance to get down there earlier today. And we've been there at different times of year, but today, tomorrow, it takes on a whole different kind of heft, kind of it weight really and does. a feeling. And it's something that really you can't put into words. No, no. You have to feel it. It's very, very personal for all of us here in our hometown. So welcome you back here at 530. And good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. You know, for those who suffered the loss of a loved one on 9-11, 20 years may seem like both a minute and a lifetime. Everyone remembers and tries to heal in their own way. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes brings us a family story. Last September 11th, with the pandemic raging, there was a scaled-down ceremony at the 9-11 memorial. Some victims' family members made the wrenching decision not to gather for the annual remembrance and reading of the names. Last year, I just felt that it would be detrimental to come down here. I really did. But for this 20th anniversary, Tracy Gazzani will once again stand by the pool next to the name of her only child at the memorial site as it's read aloud. I think back 20 years ago, what was I doing 20 years ago when Terry was so young and vital? And I live every day thinking about the day, that day. Terrence Gazzani was just 24 years old and worked for Canner Fitzgerald on the 104th floor of the North Tower. Terry. Hmm. He was the love of our life. Um, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about him after 9-11 is that I could almost still hear him in the house, walking up the stairs and pounding down the stairs, asking me, could I iron his shirt for him? Um, I, you know, that's what was hard. But Tracy and her husband, Marty, have managed to move forward in spite of their unimaginable loss. Vital to her healing since 2009, Tracy has been a volunteer at the 9-11 Tribute Museum. Thank God for the Tribute Center because it saved my life. And as she even sees grace in the towers that caused so much pain. They're, they're just so magnificent. This was actually her first day back, walking the halls at Tribute since the COVID crisis kept her away, reacquainting herself with the exhibition. So this is the hall where we come through first and then we go on into the, you know, the other galleries. And images. Oh, here I am. <laughs> Still, she says there's heartache that never goes away, and it was even inflamed by the recent eerily similar building collapse in Florida. People searching for their loved ones, it would put it all back again. It would made me so sad because I know their pain. Through her pain, though, she says she is thankful to be back at Tribute and to be able to take part in this most solemn 20th anniversary. There is a, a sense of relief that I will be able to, you know, be here. Yes. It is certainly a journey for sure.